We are here at Copa Virginia taking a look at the men's male absolute masters bracket. We have Travis Otten in the white and Samuel in the black gi. And Travis Otten comes from Beta Academy and Samuel uh, Cancher Canquerno comes from Sparks MMA. Yep, Samuel immediately pulls here. Travis looking to do a log splitter pass. Got the arms high up in the armpits. And picks him all the way up into the ground. Samuel does a really good job scooping both knees for that and sweep. Tra Travis does keep himself um, up and doesn't go over for the sweep, but does have his knee being controlled by Samuel at this point. Um, he's He did a good job to uh, get his posture back, and now he is trying to put his hands in his armpits to try to start another pass up. Yeah, we're trying to say the same passing sequence again. Seems like the one that uh, that Travis is, it likes, that log splitter. Sam's doing a good job getting that hip to the outside and looking for some gi material to maybe start to work either a choke from the guard or um, a more complex long-range guard here. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to pass it under his leg and it's for like a... Some sort of some sort of lapel guard. Yeah, a lapel yeah. guard. Travis doing a good job, though, staying diligent on that top side grip to keep Sam from being able to really get under him. You can really block the inversion underneath the legs with that cross side lapel grip, and he's doing a good job there doing that. And we do have Samuel now setting up a lapel grip that, that definitely makes it harder for Travis to try to stick that knee in the middle and or try to uh, pass his guard. Yeah, it does a good job of breaking down the posture. Samuel is again going towards the leg. Potentially going to see a toe hold here. And Travis does a good job of spinning through. And Sam continuing, potentially going to come up on that. But Travis does a great job of getting the knee through. Sam goes to the lapel 50-50 and then tries to sweep over. But Travis is doing a great job getting that cross side grip on the lapel to stop the pendulum action of that sweep. We're in a tech up 50-50 battle with Lapel. Samuel trying to come up. He's able to come up here. He'll get two points on that. But we do see Travis coming around the side and grabbing that back pant grip almost to uh, try to take the back. But it seems like his leg is stuck, so he's going to have to pull that leg out. Yeah, it's really hard to get the leg out of that position with the way that uh, Samuel has it controlled. But Travis is, again, working towards it and trying to get the knee underside the hip so that he can frame out Samuel and potentially start working that foot in and take the back. Yeah. And he does get his one hook in, and he has the leg controlled. Um. Sam doing a really good job of identifying it, coming out, top side 50-50, does a step over pass, and then right back into the knee shield and the guard, putting some heavy pressure down. Referee's gonna stop him, and we're gonna move back to the center. Sam up two points with one add. Right now, in working from top position. And they have three minutes left for the round. Yeah, I mean, we're not even halfway through the match yet. Plenty of time. But they're gonna, referee's gonna have both guys retie, and then we're gonna we're going to restart here. We're gonna start out with Travis on the bottom and Sam on the top uh, in Travis's half guard. I believe uh, Travis was also going for. He he had some sort of lapel control, which I guess they're not giving back to him because now they're. Yeah, they didn't give that. It's just back an to open him. reset. Um, and we're, I'm curious to see if Travis is going to continue to work for that same lapel grip. We're, trying, we're seeing Samuel starting to sit through pass, doing a good job of driving Travis's long side knee, top side knee down, so he can free the knee control. But Travis is very, very diligent with retaining that knee. Potentially going to look to sweep here for Travis. Um, either come. He did out hook the under the leg, and he now uh, is going to. I thought know. he was going to an X. He looked like he was going for an X. He kind of got stuck into deep half yeah. guard here. And now he needs to pass that leg over his head and maybe come out the back door. Yeah, you can go in either direction here. Um, and from where Travis is kind of leaning his head down, I think he's going to try to actually tech out all the way through oh, okay. once getting that leg off the shoulder. But again, Samuel's doing a good job controlling top position. Samuel uh, definitely has the... He has two points here, so he can be he can afford to be a little slower on top and doesn't necessarily have the incentive to, you know, take big, big risks here with only two and a half minutes left in this match. No, he's just trying to get his his knee is out, his foot is still stuck in the guard at this point. Yeah. Um but it looks like he just wants to get that yeah, and he's just gonna go to uh Keskatami with that uh sleeve control. Um, yeah, that's gonna make it really hard for Travis to kind of 
get himself out of that position. Yeah, this is a really tough position um, because that knee that, that is still controlled there um, on the bottom, is the foot is very, very hard to kind of be able to push back through into the guard for Travis. And Samuel can continue to leverage on that arm he has trapped and pull and very slowly kind of slide that knee through. And his shoulders and chest are nice and high. Ends up in a really, really good modified Kesikatame position. Travis trying to turn up to stop the points, but it's going to be very hard to do in this position. Yeah, but he's able to do it. He also has his arm stuck at this point, but he does go to... Yeah. He and needs to get... Yeah, I... Samuel does a really good job there of coming through. He gets the ad for it because he never finished the pass, but Travis did a great job there of retaining the guard. We're back to that initial sequence we saw with Samuel having really, really heavy pressure. Travis trying to bring the leg over the head, and Samuel just continuing to try to push that knee cut through as Travis goes uh, belly down partially to stop that pass, but also working to try to do a sweep here. A lever sweep at the leg. Again into the deep pass for Travis. Sam tries to shoot it out for a triangle here. Yeah. But again, Travis is really, really diligent with that low side leg. And he also has control of the gi um, as he grabs that leg, which gives him a little bit more control of what's going on. Unfortunately, his arm is stuck and his hips are out. Um, and he needs his hips a little bit more under Samuel to really get him to... Uh, sweep him over. Yeah, seems to do a really good job of dropping his hips all the way across and down, closer into the chest and really preventing the leverage that Travis needs, even with that foot trapped, to go over with that back door yeah. sweep. 14 seconds left in the match. Sam's going to go for a topside toehold, spinning under. Potentially, Travis can use this to come up and take the back and yeah. score off this. It's a really risky move. Sam gets an advantage for his efforts. One second left in the match. And that's time. Really, really close match. That two points and the ads uh, being the deciding factor there. And that was our final for our men's absolute gi for the Masters with uh, Samuel Quintero taking that match two to three ads.